the Nigeria chapter of the Women's Federation for World Peace, an international NGO with general consultative status at the United Nations. We wish to convey a deep concern on the recent challenges in country, especially the agitation by the energetic young people and the reaction of the government at different levels. We, got, we acknowledge the fact that citizens have the right to make genuine demands on their leaders and it is constitutional to express such desires through protest. We also acknowledge the fact that it is the responsibility of the government to protect lives and properties of the citizens. We are aware of the fact that both the citizens and the government are desirous of building a great nation where all people should be governed peacefully. In the quest to achieve this common desire, several approaches and strategies are being advanced by various sections of the nation. Obviously, we have witnessed contradictory approaches towards arriving at the common goal, which is the security and well-being of the people. While we command the desire of the citizens and the government for the realization of a better society, we are deeply troubled by the expression of the good intentions. As women, as mothers, we are the primary losers as well citizens were born by women. We all appealing for restraint on all sides. Young people should henceforth avoid situations that may escalate into more violence. Please avoid confrontation with armed security personnel. And no one can deny the fact that your message is resonating all over the nation and the world. You have been heard loud and clear. Still, you expect more action sooner than later. We are very hopeful that this will be done soon by the government. On the side of government, we consider the reported reaction of government to be too extreme. We have a appeal for restraint in the task of securing lives and properties. We appeal that government should ensure that no further lives of the citizens should be lost, please. Rather than fighting persons, we perceive to be our enemy on this issue. We are advocating that we all come together to fight our common enemy like corruption, anti-social behavior, etc. Let us all embrace dialogue and avoid what will divide us further as a nation. As citizens, our utmost desire is to attain happiness in life. And we need to work together to avoid whatever will bring suffering to any citizen and our residents of our nation. Let us all embrace peace. Let us strive to educate everyone on what we need to do. Let us create an environment for all to prosper as well as prepare our young people to become better leaders of our nation. Let us say no to violence. We hereby call on all women of our nation to come together and pray for the resolution of the challenges we are facing now. We shall surely triumph and become a more united nation. Thank you and may God bless Nigeria.